Hey, good morning guys. What's happening? We're going to do a little bit of scope work today. I'm going to show you a uh, somewhat less than normally used function on the oscilloscope called pass fail. It's, it's a very cool function if you're doing production type of work and you have to measure a lot of different circuits and find out if they're behaving the way you expect them to. So what it does is it checks a waveform or a pulse that falls into a specific category. Well, not a specific category, but it's a specific set of parameters. And the way we access it on this scope, for instance, is by pressing the utility button and then you see here pass fail and you have to set it up sorry about that I had to cough also I'm sorry for the blowing noise in the background that's the blower on the fireplace it's cold alright so we set it up pass fail we set enable test to on our source is channel 1 we have our message display on that's up here you see fail, pass, and total. So we're going to go here and we're going to find mask settings. So we have to set up our mask. Now what we have here is our X value, which is our horizontal time base, and our Y value, which is voltage. So you see right now our X value is set for 0 0.08 volts per division. And if I just click this button here, create mask, now you see that we have, oops, let me do this again. We have this small black area, and that is the pass area. And then we have the blue area, which is the fail area. So if a wave ends up anywhere in the blue area, the test will fail. So for instance, if I want to adjust, hey, get back here. Pass fail. Next page. Mask setting. Okay, if I want to adjust my X value, I can do that. Hit create limit. See how small it is? Or I can turn it up, hit create mask. And now that's giving me a little wiggle room. We can do the same thing for our Y mask. So now we've increased our pass area. Remember, the blue is the fail area. Okay, so now we have to go back into our utility menu, pass fail, and all we need to do is hit operate. So now it's running, and you can see over here, these are all passing the test. Whoops, sorry, didn't mean to bump the camera. But if I can affect the waveform, you now see that we have fails. Now here's where it gets interesting. We have our message display. We have an output set for a beep on or off. We can tell it to stop the output. So you can run a bunch of tests on a signal. Say you're getting like a runt pulse every 100,000. You can count how many times they're there, decide what's acceptable. It is just a really useful feature on the scope that's you know a lot of maybe misunderstood people don't know how to use it because unless you're in a production environment or you know in some sort of industrial environment it's just not something you use all that often but like I said it's useful so I hope you guys enjoyed this if you did give me a thumbs up feel free to comment share and don't forget to subscribe big thanks to all my patrons big thanks to you for watching that's it I'm out peace